We'll take you now out to Los Angeles. That is where we have attorney Gloria Allred uh, speaking uh, with her clients, an alleged uh, Diddy victim. Let's listen on live now from Fox, and we should warn everyone, viewer discretion heavily advised uh, during this moment. Gloria Allred, and with me is our client, plaintiff Thalia Graves. Today we filed a lawsuit in the United States District Court, Southern District of New York, for our client, Plaintiff Thalia Graves, who is given permission to use her name. The case number of the 26-page complaint is 1 colon 24-CV-07201. In her lawsuit, Thalia, through her attorneys, sues Sean Diddy Combs, also known as the defendant, and another individual and other entities. The complaint alleges in part in the first cause of action that defendant Combs and another defendant committed a, quote, violation of New York City Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Act by viciously and violently forcing sexual contact, oral sex, and sexual intercourse on the plaintiff, end quote. In addition, the complaint alleges in the second cause of action that defendant Combs and another defendant committed a violation of New York civil rights law, quote, section 52 hyphen B, end quote, by, quote, raping plaintiff and recording it. Defendants caused plaintiff to be de depicted in a video image, unclothed and with intimate body parts exposed and engaged in sexual conduct with another person, end quote. The lawsuit also alleges that, quote, defendant Combs and another defendant published and or disseminated the videos without plaintiff's knowledge or consent on information and belief, defendants have continued to disseminate the video, including by selling it as pornography through the present, end quote. In our complaint, we ask that, quote, defendants should be ordered to account for and destroy all copies of the video that are in their actual or constructive possession, custody, or control end quote. And that, quote, defendants should be temporarily and permanently enjoined from further disseminating or publishing any intimate videos of plaintiff, end quote. We also allege in the third cause of action that Combs and another defendant committed a violation of New York City Administrative Code, section 10 hyphen 180, quote, recording and showing others the video of themselves violently raping the plaintiff. And the defendants disclosed an intimate image of plaintiff without her consent, end quote. As a result of these and other allegations in our complaint, we request that judgment be entered against defendants as follows. Awarding compensatory damages for all physical injuries, emotional distress, psychological harm, anxiety, humiliation, physical and emotional pain and suffering, family and social disruption and other harm in an amount to be determined at trial. Awarding punitive damages in an amount to be determined at trial. Awarding attorneys fees and costs pursuant to any applicable statute or law, including under New York City Administrative Code Section 10, hyphen 1104, New York Civil Rights Law, section 52 hyphen B2, New York City Administrative Code, section 10 hyphen 180, and any other applicable statute or law. We're also seeking additional relief that the court may deem just and proper. As a result of what is alleged in the lawsuit, Thalia alleges that she has suffered and continues to suffer among other damages, emotional harm, including mental anguish, emotional distress, humiliation, and physical 
damage. In a few minutes, Thalia will speak to the impact and harm that she has suffered and continues to suffer. She will take this courageous step because she thinks that it is important that the public understand the impact that rape and other criminal acts have on those who have been victimized. Often victims do not speak publicly about the specific damages that criminal acts cause them. Some of the many reasons that victims do not speak out publicly about this include being ashamed or shamed for this. But we believe that victims should not be shamed and instead those who committed the criminal acts against them should be ashamed and take responsibility for the harm that they have caused victims to suffer. We are very proud of Thalia for speaking out today in order to help victims of rape and other acts of sexual violence against them. In addition, we thank our co-counsel, Marianne Wang, Heather Gregoria, and Jasly Liriano for their exceptional legal work on this complaint. Our goal for Thalia is very simple. We want justice for her, and we are looking forward to winning it. It is long overdue for those who have caused her to suffer to be held accountable. The internal pain after being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into words. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. It's a pain that reaches into your very core of who you are and leaving emotional scars that may never fully heal. Some of the hardest parts of this pain are the shame and the guilt I have experienced that plays a negative part in my day-to-day -day ability to function properly being blamed, questioned, and threatened has often made me feel worthless, isolated, and sometimes responsible for what happened to me. My family issues made the pain even worse. I was already going through a divorce at the time of the assault and did not get the support that I needed. I was also faced with disbelief and judgment. This has put a strain on my selection of men and relationships. Where many relationships became aggressive and abusive, which has made me feel even more alone in my struggles. I go through spells of being distant and withdrawn that it's sometimes so hard to leave my house. The trauma of the assault has taken a toll on my mental health I've had PTSD, depression, and anxiety. 
I'm emotionally scarred. It has been hard for me to trust others, to form healthy relationships, or even feel safe in my own skin. Flashbacks, nightmares, and intrusive thoughts make me feel like it's a constant struggle. I also suffer with physical problems such as chronic pain, sexual discomfort, the violation I have experienced during the assault has had lasting effects on my body, causing ongoing health problems and complications. The combination of physical and emotional pain has created a cycle of suffering from which it is so hard to break free. I want to continue on this journey towards recovery and healing. I am glad that he is locked up, but that's a temporary feeling of relief. Thank you. <clears throat> Dahlia is not going to be taking any questions, but I'll be happy to take some questions. Gloria, can you talk about the context of this assault? Uh, what, where, when, what it came from? The question is, can I speak about the context of this alleged assault? No. Gloria, can you just speak on, uh, I know it's difficult for your client going through this, but what prompted her to come forward now? It was time to file this lawsuit. Gloria, what do you know about the video that was allegedly recorded during the alleged violation? Question is, what do I know about the video that was recorded? Yeah, what do you know? Where is it now? Is it still, I mean, where is the video? Yeah. Um, There are many details in the complaint. The complaint alleges that it was taken without her knowledge and consent, that she wouldn't have consented, that it was then uh, published and viewed by others. and they still be out there being viewed. Gloria, do, do the allegations of this complaint overlap uh, in any way with the criminal charges uh, against Mr. Combs? The question is, does this complaint overlap with the criminal charges that have been filed? My understanding of the criminal charges are that the charges are sex trafficking, <clears throat> RICO, and transportation of a prostitute. Um, we are not le alleging any of those criminal charges in our complaint. Has she been in touch with the federal prosecutors at all? Question is, have I been in touch? I see you or your client been in touch with the federal prosecutors about our allegations? About this? I have no comment. Gloria, what about a grand jury? Pardon me? Grand jury, federal prosecutors, or grand jury has Ms. Graves spoke to either? Is the question has she testified before the grand jury? Is that the question? Yes. We, let's put it this way. 
I never comment on whether any of my clients have testified before the grand jury or will testify before the grand jury since the grand jury is a secret proceeding. Gloria, this other defendant in the video, alleged defendant, is this a celebrity? Is the other defendant alleged to be in the video, and what was the remainder of your question? Is that person, that alleged defendant, is that person a celebrity? Is the person that has not been named by me a celebrity? Not as far as I know. Gloria, as disturbing as the video may be, have you yourself laid eyes on the video? Have I looked at the video? No. I have not viewed the video, nor do I wish to view the video, nor should anyone else view the video, with the exception of if law enforcement and a court believe that they should and are permitted to view a pornographic video as evidence in the case, if they have it, then that would be it. Gloria, just to be clear. We don't ever view pornographic videos, even if they might end up being evidence in the case, and we do not transmit any such video, if we have it, to any other person, because we do not think it is permitted under the law. Gloria, Elizabeth Blackmaster from CNN. Would you please speak up? It's hard to hear you. Yes, sorry, I'm back here and a bit short. In the complaint, you noted that your client learned about this video in November 2023. That is around the time of the first public lawsuit, at least, against Sean Combs from his ex-girlfriend, Cassie. I'm curious how you and your client learned about the existence of this video. You're saying that this incident is alleged to have occurred about the time of another lawsuit having been filed? I'm sorry, I can't understand your question. Per the complaint, this alleged incident occurred in 2001, but your client learned about the existence of the video in 2023, more than 20 years after. I'm curious how she learned about the existence of that video. Yeah, so the question is, she alleges that the incident took place in 2001, but you are saying that it is alleged in the complaint that was filed that she learned about it in 2022. And then the question is, how did she learn about it? We have no comment in response to that question. Gloria, has Diddy reached out to your client? Excuse me? Has Diddy reached out to your client? The question is, has Diddy reached out to her? I think we will not comment on that either. Gloria, I know this is very difficult for your clients, but would you be able to share a little bit of her background? Where did she come from? What did she do? Can you give us some details about your client, please? No, I can't provide further details about where she came from or what she does. Gloria, to your knowledge, has any law enforcement agency reviewed this video for possible criminal charges? So is the question, has any criminal law enforcement, well, is the question, has any law enforcement agency reviewed the video for possible criminal charges? Reviewed the video. I am not able to answer that question. Your client says that she was threatened after this alleged attack. Can you elaborate on those threats? The question is, can I elaborate on the allegation that she was threatened after the attacks? And no, because really I'm not able to comment on or expand upon any 
evidence or anything that might have evidentiary value at this time. Or there's a, an allegation in the lawsuit that the video was made available for sale. Can you elaborate on that? And was Mr. Combs... Really there's an allegation that the video was made available to whom? For sale. For uh, that was made available for sale. Correct. Yep. That's new. There have been other accusers, um, other women who have said that they believe they were filmed and that the videos were shared. But I think this might be the first uh, complaint allegation that the video was made available for sale somehow. I have not compared what we have alleged in the lawsuit to what others have previously alleged in their lawsuits. So I can't tell you whether this is the first that has alleged that this video was made available for sale or not. Would Mr. Combs be involved in that alleged sale? Yeah. There are no other details that we can provide so you in reference to the videos. So you filed this two days? Right? Yes, the lawsuit was filed this morning. And, and we have a case number, which I have provided, and we will pass around and provide my statement, which includes the case number. And this is part of the first page uh, of the complaint. So you want to stand up and hold this? It's just, are you okay? You want to stand up? Are you okay? Okay. And there is a redaction on what we're showing you. So just to tell you. And to your right, please. This is right. the first page in part and redacted. Dahlia to your left, please. Pardon me? Dahlia on your right, if you hold the look at this. Thank you. Thank you. And right below her. Oh, okay. It's right ahead. And okay. one more this way, please. And I'll leave this on the table Thank afterwards. Gloria, um, there's a yeah. few networks here that... Great attorney, uh, Gloria Allred, uh, there announcing that lawsuit uh, that was just filed today with her client against uh, Sean Diddy Combs. It looks like possible, maybe more questions. So let's listen in right here on Live Now. She speaks Spanish. Would she be able to give us a few words oh. in Spanish? She speaks Spanish? Why do I say what word? No. No, so she can't. Can you please pronounce her name on camera just so we have the correct? Do you want to pronounce her name? Talia Graves. Okay, thank you. Miss Gloria, are you in contact with the person who told your client about the video described in a lawsuit? We cannot disclose who we're in contact with in order to have investigated this claim or any investigation that may ensue after this press conference. Gloria, just... I want to add that if any other person has any evidence that might relate to our complaint, we, of course, would be happy to speak on a confidential basis with any person who may wish to contact us and provide us whatever evidence they wish to provide, and we would thank them for it. Okay, the question is, did she come to me after the indictment last week? No. And as a follow-up, um, how is your client feeling after those three charges were brought against Combs, even though he denies them? How is she feeling after? After the charges. After 
the criminal charges yes. were filed yes. and that he has been arraigned. Okay. Do you want to comment? Well, no, we're not, we're not having her comment. I'm sorry. Um, I would say overall it's been a very stressful and anxiety producing experience and she's lived with all of it for many years and you know is reliving it now I think she did comment on how she felt about the criminal charges at the end of her statement and I'm not going to ask her to answer any other questions with all due respect it's a fair question but she's just not going to be answering questions today uh, Gloria can you can you tell us how your client came to meet Diddy how, she how can I tell you how my client met Diddy met Diddy uh, I am not going to expand on those details at this press conference, but you know, any member of the public or press, you know, is of course permitted to see whatever is in the complaint that has been filed in the Southern District of New York. Gloria, has your client been in contact with any other victims? Has my client been in contact with any other victims? Alleged victims. Uh, or alleged victims. Um, I, I'm unable to comment on anyone with whom she has been in contact or who has contacted her because those would be private conversations. So we will maintain the privacy of those conversations. For one thing, I don't know if whomever contacted her wanted their conversation to be confidential. So I can't comment on that. Thank you though for the question. Gloria, Anything else? Yes, Gloria, this tape was it secretly made or was your client aware that she was being taped during the alleged assault and now has found out that the tape is out there or did she never even know that she was being taped during the alleged assault i can't comment on the degree of consciousness or lack of consciousness or awareness of Thalia during the alleged rape and during the alleged video taping of the rape. I can say that she would never have consented to the videotaping and did not consent and did not authorize the videotaping in the same way that she alleges that she would never have consented to be victimized in the way that she alleges that she was. And I think you could see today how upsetting it was for Thalia to have to learn and experience what she alleges that she did learn and experience from that horrific time. Talia, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Gloria, are you representing any other women that may also be suing? Am I representing any other women? Other than her? That are In reference to? Women? Or men, or men, uh, in reference to Diddy. Diddy. 
Yes. So there's other claims. There are other. This is a lawsuit that we have filed and in answer to a question which you have not yet asked but probably will am I going to file other lawsuits um, I, I just don't have any comment on that at this time any other questions and I think so, uh, I that will conclude I, I, yeah I didn't uh, hear you when I, when I asked if you would be able to comment in Spanish if, speak, if she speaks in Spanish uh, no the answer is no she is not going to be doing any interviews in English, Spanish, or any other language. Because but, she speaks Spanish. But thank you for asking. Does she speak Spanish? I don't know. Um, any other questions? I just have one last question. Go okay. As as the video one goes, last question. One Go ahead. Question. As far as the video goes, do you know or does your client know if there has been more than one copy or multiple people have a version of the video? I am not able to comment on whether we know if there is more than one copy of the video. If there is any witness who wishes to contact me confidentially, to tell me that they know that someone else has a copy or that they have seen it or been told that they, someone else saw it online, we would be happy to speak to that person. Is there any, I think that's no, all the question. question. Um, just for reporting purposes, is she a New York native? Is she a New York native? Native. I can't tell you at this time if if she is a New York native. She does not reside in New York at this time. Uh, okay, thank you so much for coming and we're gonna hand out copies of our statements. Thank you. Okay. All right, you're just listening in there, uh, Gloria Allred and a victim speaking out and announcing a new launch suit against Sean Diddy Combs. Of course, they were talking about unrelated, though, to the recent arrest of him in New York. So uh, following it very, very closely here on Live It Now from Fox, a very emotional uh, press conference uh, event there taking place uh, as a new lawsuit coming forward. Uh, a story that we're following, a developing one here on Live Now from Fox. Let's sign away for a quick two-minute break.